Hey there, fellows. So, uh, what do you think of this here vehicle setup? Once again, we are dealing with a ton of snow. And uh, we've already tried a bunch of different ideas. In terms of vehicles that would work well in these sorts of conditions. Not a simple matter. But this time we want to try making something... Simple enough for anybody to be able to piece together in their own garage. And we thought, why not use barrels as the foundation? We have fitted them to a car in the past. And that car was really struggling. But let's try making something super light. We got a couple of drums, plus a tiny engine. And the idea now would be to try, I mean, to actually put something together and uh, take it out for some testing. To see how this sort of all-terrain vehicle will behave uh, out in the wild. I mean, when off-roading. Initial testing will be conducted in the snow. Yeah, let's build this thing and uh, go try it out. Let's do this. Big thanks for your support, guys. Your likes, views, comments. And as a token of our appreciation, we've prepared an awesome surprise. We've collabed with a few professional artists and designers to make six posters depicting some of our most iconic builds. And we're giving you the opportunity to buy a digital copy of one of those posters. And at a bargain price, just two dollars a piece. And if you order all six posters at once, the entire set is only gonna cost you ten dollars. After payment goes through, the posters will be emailed to you in high resolution. You can print them, hang them on your wall, or give them as a gift. By purchasing these posters, you will really help support our channel in these difficult times. The more of these posters we are able to sell, the more great content we will be able to make for you in the future. So if you want to support our channel, go ahead and buy a digital download. Links in the description. All-wheel drive ATV with 200-liter drums as wheels. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, guys, here's where we're at with the build. We're at this stage of the assembly process, and this intermediate shaft wasn't there before. Initially, we thought that it would be unnecessary, that there would be too many of them, too many chains. But there is one thing to consider here. In here you have a centrifugal clutch and a reduction gear. It's going to give you double reduction, and so we fitted a chain, so, at first we had just this one intermediate shaft. We had a small sprocket on this. It was giving us two and a half times reduction. So the torque would go to the rear wheel with some additional reduction. And as a result, while we lifted the vehicle, started the engine, and the rear wheel was rotating so fast that we'll also make the front wheel driven, well, I mean, drum, eh, wheel, whatever. Anyway, it was spinning so freaking fast, I mean... It was rotating at such a crazy rate, I feel like this contraption of ours would be going a good 80 kilometers an hour. And we are definitely not looking to go that fast. We want this to be slow and sure-footed. We gave it some thought, and the only real working solution... The only thing we could come up with was installing another intermediate shaft, in order to get even more reduction going. That is a whole lot of shafts, but what can you do? I mean, we do want this to be able um, to pull well. As for speed, well, just like I said, we don't need this to be fast. 
So we are another intermediate shaft, then we attach and uh, tighten all of the chains, and we'll be due for another start. We'll see how fast the wheel is going to be rotating. We'd prefer to keep the speed low, because we need this to have plenty of pull. Okay, let's carry on. And this is what we end up with. Now, we did have to fit a bunch of extra chains to the intermediate shafts, because, well, none of us calculated the speed. And so, yeah, lots of extra parts, but whatever. So, look here. This chain is connected to the drum up front. And up here we have yet another intermediate shaft. It is connected to the drum via another chain. And over here, well, we haven't done anything clever. That's just a regular old automotive CV joint. It'll allow us to easily steer the vehicle while torque is being transferred to the wheel. Now, we don't have much in the way of steering angle due to the drum pushing up against the frame. We actually had to weld on a restrictor to prevent the drum from uh, snagging when we're out and about driving. And overall, I'd say we've done pretty well indeed with this moped. Down here we've set up a sort of uh, makeshift brake. I really don't know why it's there, but better to have it and not need it than vice versa. But we're looking good, the drums are rocking some aggressive tread. And I am quite curious as to how they're gonna perform. Anyway, there's the gate, we are currently in the winter. Let's head out and I'll tell you something a bit later. Okay, it's time to roll. <laughs> right, this was totally to be expected. The brakes work, that's all good. And the ridges, they aren't all that big. But this is totally normal while you're driving over a smooth surface like this. I cannot wait to get to the snow. I would like to drive over some dirt in the summertime. Yeah, now I expect it to... There you go, not much of a steering angle. And that is rather inconvenient. And immediately we run into... We have identified a pretty serious design flaw. The lack of a reverse gear. 
We didn't even consider the fact that we wouldn't have one. Pull me back, what else are we going to do? This is how we're going to be reversing. Yeah, it is what it is. Eh, for crying out loud. Yeah, as long as it's happy driving straight. I think I'll stray from the packed surface right away. Because here we're gonna... Awesome, it's no longer shaking. I like how it's moving on the surface. Very nice. But here it's packed. Oh man. Eh, whatever. Perhaps take it up to a speed where vibrations are at a minimum. Nah, speed is not the answer. But it feels great on a loose surface. Perhaps stay away from there with no reverse gear. It is so nice in the loose snow. Going over the soft stuff, I get a soft feeling myself. No, for real. Come on now, let's go. Let's go, move. Come on, dig right in, dig in. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, it's really got it. You seeing this? <laughs> yeah, it dug in deep. This is like some snow removal machine. Look at that, it's driving onto something. Come on now. What was that? Ice? Stop, we have a problem. What's up? The chain came off. All right, let's continue. Let me try going in there. Come on, come on. Look at that slowly, but... This is not a nice place to sit when it's doing that dance. But it's moving slowly but surely. Yeah, this is terrific. Moving along. At a leisurely pace. There we go. That is a pretty tall drum. So at first I thought it'd be difficult to steer, but actually... Everything is just fine. I'm having no trouble. Especially when I'm going over the loose snow. Let's go. You can do it. Yeah, here you get the feeling that the steering column is connected to a... 
Damn it. <laughs> Come on now. It leaves quite the trail in its wake. Oh, holy cow! This thing is dope. Nope. Gotta back up. Get some momentum. What's the matter? It was climbing a minute ago. Not having a reverse gear sucks, man. I like how it was going up the hill, though. What if I do another pass through the spot that I just drove through? Same exact story as before. Except that it's not shaking as violently. And when this thing starts vibrating, it is quite unpleasant indeed. Come on now, let's go. You scared? But this is moving along quite nicely. This is good fun. And even if the way it goes over the soft stuff... You uh, get the feeling that it wants to dig itself into the snow. But what actually happens is it slowly... Yeah, so the thing slowly... I mean, it does jump around, but it powers through. I'm struggling to steer and come on now. We're almost there. Yeah, and we were successfully able to get through. <laughs> nah, it is not a great feeling when this thing starts bucking. Jumping around. Look at that, it's moving. Very nice. Slowly getting there. We've built something pretty interesting here. It was pretty happy to drive over the snow. Especially considering, uh, well, I suppose there's not much of a contact patch. It's not enough to prevent it from digging down. But the thing is that once it gets all the way down, the ridges claw into the earth, and the thing goes along like it's nobody's business. It goes up inclines. There is one problem, something that we overlooked when we were designing the thing. I mean the reverse gear. But otherwise it drives, and that is a good thing in itself. The all-wheel drive really plays a factor here. Yeah, it digs down, but it moves along, and that is awesome. This seems to have been a success, it's all good. We figured out the basic architecture, and if you have any ideas, shoot. Let's think of something together. But for now, that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. And that's it for this video, catch you guys later.